Then the other tornado is near Hackleburg. Uh, if you're in Hackleburg, you need to be in a safe place now. Same thing up around Phil Campbell. And if power is out in Phil Campbell, then you know that folks are, are there. And we keep repeating ourselves with this, but it's a very serious situation because we had so much damage earlier. So many folks are without power and without an ability to get a warning. Because the lead time for Hackleburg was 32 minutes. For Phil Campbell, was 42 minutes. Everybody should have had plenty of time to go to a safe place. Now, 252 people died on my watch and for an event that was well forecast and the warnings were excellent. It is my belief that many people died April 27th because of the siren mentality. <coughs> it's the notion that we have in Alabama that you should hear a siren before a tornado. And I think that killed a lot of people. It killed a 16-year-old girl in Birmingham three weeks ago. The grieving dad said from this tornado that came through in the middle of the night that took his daughter's life, he said the famous words we don't like to hear. I never heard the siren. He thought you could hear a siren in your home, and that mentality was responsible for the death of that precious 16-year-old girl. It is my object, it is the object of, of Charles and Ashley, the National Weather Service. We are getting very bold now. We were nice for a long time, but we have got to stop it. Nobody in here should be relying on a siren, air raid siren technology from World War I to tell you a tornado's coming. You won't hear them in a house, in a school, in a building. I remember, I, I'm so old, I remember the Cuban Missile Crisis when I was a little kid. They taught us what those siren blasts meant. And even then, in the 60s, I'm thinking, I can't hear that siren in my house. It doesn't make any sense. This is what we're recommending. Preferably one or more of these. Everybody in here ought to have a weather radio. Now, I'll be honest with you. Up here, most people do. You know what it's like. You have suffered immensely. The pain is so hard. But every Alabama home at least has to have that. That's the baseline. It sounds an alarm in your home. That will wake you up. That would have saved that 16-year-old girl's life three weeks ago. Instead of that stinking siren mentality, weather radios, they, they only cost like 29 bucks. You can buy them all over the place, and if you have a hard time setting them up, we'll program them for you. We will. So that's the baseline. There's some other great opportunities. Now, not everybody in here likes cell phones. I know some guy that still has a rotary phone. They don't even know what that is. Remember the rotary phone? You stick your finger in the little dial. Um, for those people that, that have just phones, home phones, that top service is pretty cool. It's called Weather Call. I'll call you if you're in a polygon tornado warning. Now, you know, tornado warnings are not for whole counties, right? They're for polygons, little slivers of counties, because tornadoes are small. If there's a tornado on the ground in Hackleburg, and if you live in Winfield, you don't need to do anything in Winfield. And that's based on that polygon technology. And for people that do have these cell phones, that IMAP weather radio, it's great. This thing has a GPS chip. It knows where you are. And if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get a loud warning. And if you're not, you don't. You can program in fixed locations. It's available now for iPhone. It will be available for Android March 1st. But that's our three-way plan. So I just beg you. I don't beg a lot. Please do not rely on a siren to let you know a tornado's coming.